Hi, I'm Juan Antonio Carvalho, and I'm asking for your vote this November. I'm running to be the District 2 Supervisor. I'm a career innovator looking to improve the inefficiencies and failures in our city services by focusing on greatly improving transit effectiveness, creating citizen-friendly city government, and utilizing private-public partnerships. I'm a 10-year resident of District 2. Our children were born and raised here. I'm an avid bicycle and train commuter. I started as a scientist and inventor and then moved my way into a number of professions in a 20-year career. Now, as an innovator, I cannot help but notice the disparity between all the growth in the San Francisco private sector and the disappointing pace of improvements to our city services. Now, we are at an economic peak, yet I see every day how district residents and San Franciscans are struggling because our city government fails to meet today's challenges around education, transportation, technology, affordability. For example, one person may need 15 minutes to go to work, and another person with lower income might need an hour to an hour and a half for the same exact trip. Now, this happens to thousands every day in our city. This is unfair and unacceptable. Now, solving these issues will be at the core of my focus as a supervisor. San Francisco sits at the center of global technology and innovation, but our city government lags far behind. We waste too many resources on outdated and ineffective practices. We need to create America's most innovative city with creative leaders who have the vision and the energy to improve people's lives through more responsive and open government. Now, this requires electing leaders who have experience outside the normal channels of politics and government. I spend my adult life as an innovator, helping create solutions for all aspects of society, from communications to clean energy, solutions that everybody, that, that a lot of people are using in their everyday lives. Now, my commitment is to bring my success as an inventor, a scientist, and a business leader to create new programs that can truly change people's lives. Now, when I ask for your vote, I'm asking for a chance to tackle these issues head on, to really roll up my sleeves and address issues that really at the core are about justice, fairness, in a way that's not being done right now. Now, as your supervisor, I would have three main points of focus. A first, modernize our transit to become a more customer-friendly muni, ensure zero fatalities and serious injuries by 2018, green our entire transportation system, and improve circulation for all vehicles. I'm dead serious about this, and I have a number of proposals. Now, bottom line, I intend to cut transit time across San Francisco end-to-end -end by 50%. Second, create a city-friendly city government that provides better access to city services, including completely mobile and online service access, improved efficiency in spending tax dollars, and a goal for zero paperwork by 2020. Now, this will liberate a great amount of funding and resources for programs that at the core are focused on social justice, on fairness, in agreement with the core values of this city. Third, public-private partnerships that work to maintain the local character of our neighborhoods while delivering services in new and powerful ways. I want to take the use of these partnerships to the next level to solve key aspects of our significant problems such as affordability, transportation, and education. Great services will get our city into a positive spiral. The city will become more just, equal, and promise more opportunity for all of its residents, regardless of where they come from. Now, what's needed is innovation, which is my history, my commitment, and my vision for the city. This is one reason I've been endorsed as a first place choice for district to supervisor by institutions such as the San Francisco Green Party, San Francisco Tenants Union, San Francisco Latino Democratic Club, New Avenues Democratic Club, Central City Democrats, and others throughout the city. Now to learn more about me and my campaign, please visit carballo2014.com, C-A-R-B-A-L-L-O 2014. Thank you for your time, and I would appreciate your vote this November.